Hello viewers, my name is Yakubu Muhammad. You are welcome to another edition of The Noble Icon. The Noble Icon is a television magazine program that centers on celebrating people with noble dates. In this edition, we have this man who has history in unionism and activism. He is Mr. Mele Kolokari, Group Managing Director, Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation. Mr. Mele Kari comes as the 19th GMD of the NMPC with a rich professional and service credentials. His appointment was roundly applauded because he has an exemplary qualities that he has shown in all the places and levels he was opportune to serve. Mr. Melekari is a confident and competent man who is poised to reposition the corporation towards greater transparency and accountability. Under his watch, NMPC Nigeria made public its audited financial account for the first time in 43 years with the publication of its audited financial statement, AFS, on its website. Mr. Carey is a geologist well known in the oil industry as a crude oil marketer with outfield pedigree in petroleum economics and crude oil and gas trading with over 32 years of experience. His tour of duty traversed the entire value chain of the petroleum industry. He has been described as peacemaker because he helped to resolve disputes with international oil companies IOCs arising from various interpretation issues with PSCs. Melikari stepped in at the right time to provide the right leadership. Under his watch, the crude oil marketing division of the NNPC recorded noticeable transformation in the area of management and sales of various Nigeria's crude oil grades via infusion of transparency and automation of the processes. Melekari is one of those who came up with NNPC's commodity trading initiative. The initiative usher in a new era in accountability and transparency in NNPC's operations. The initiative helps government to know who is buying Nigeria's crude oil, at what price, and how much has been made from the sales overall. Mele Kolokari, born 8 January 1965, is a Nigerian geologist, crude oil marketer, and the 19th Group Managing Director, GMD, of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC. Before this appointment, Kari was the Group General Manager, Crude Oil Marketing Division of the NNPC, and the Nigerian National Representative at the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, since 2018. Mr. Carey comes to the job as the 19th GMD of the NMPC with a rich profile of professional and service credentials. A geologist, Mr. Carey is known in the oil industry as a crude oil marketer with outfield pedigree in petroleum economics and crude oil and gas trading. With over 32 years of experience in the oil and gas industry, his tour of duty traversed the entire value chain of the petroleum industry. Under his watch, the crude oil marketing division of the NNPC has recorded noticeable transformation in the management and sales of the various Nigerian crude oil grades via an infusion of transparency and automation of the processes. A 1987 Bachelor of Science BSc degree holder in Geology and Earth Science from the University of Meduguri, Mr. Carey did his National Youth Service Corps NYC as a well site geologist with the Directorate of Foods, Roads and Rural Infrastructure Defray between 1987 and 1988. Between 1988 and 1991, he worked with the Nigerian Geological Survey Agency before joining the NMPC subsidiary Integrated Data Service Limited, IDSL. In 1998, Mr. Carey was appointed the Exploration Geophysics Production Sharing Contract PSC of the National Petroleum Investment Management Service until 2004 when he became the Abuja Operation Manager of the NAPIMS. In 2006, he was appointed the Supervisor PSC Crude Oil Marketing Department of the NMPC 
from where he rose to the position of head and later manager of production contract management of the COMD between 2007 and 2014. Mr. Carey was appointed General Manager, Oil Stock Management, COMD, where he worked till 2015 before being appointed Group General Manager, COMD, and later Nigeria's National Representative at OPEC. The Group Managing Director, GMD, of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NMPC, Mele Carey, has listed some remarkable successes recorded within the short period of his tenure. He listed some of the achievements to include the attainment of over 2 billion liters of petroleum motor spirit reserve and completion of phase one of Potakot refinery rehabilitation. On Damelekari, we witnessed the Ajakuta Kaduna Kano AKK pipeline, which is a 614-kilometer-long natural gas pipeline being developed by the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NMPC. It will run from Ajakuta to Kano in Nigeria. The Ajakuta Kaduna Kano AKK gas pipeline will open up businesses along its path and from south to north. It will improve power generation and escalate the growth of large, medium, small and even micro businesses. The group managing director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, Mele Kari, secured a $300 million reduction in the Jakuta Kaduna Kano gas project. It was learned that after several failed attempts in the last 13 years to commence project activities, the leadership of the NNPC led by Kari within one year of his stewardship brought the project on track. The pipeline is slated to originate from Ajakuta and pass through Abuja and Kaduna before ending it at a terminal gas station in Kano. The project will be executed in three phases, with phase one covering the construction of a 200 kilometer long segment between Ajakuta and Abuja terminal gas station. Train 7 project under Mele Kari is in fulfillment of NLNG's vision of being a global company helping to build a better Nigeria. The project upon completion will support the federal government's drive to generate more revenue from Nigeria's proven gas reserves and further reduce gas flaring in the country's upstream oil and gas industry. The project is scheduled to span approximately five years. The project is a strategic step that will have a significant impact on the Nigerian oil and gas sector and economy. Train 7 project is aimed at boosting Nigeria's liquefied natural gas output by some 35%. The long-expected $10 billion project is expected to add around 8 million tons a year of liquefied natural gas to NLNG, taking the total to around 30 million tons per year. Nigeria's LNG production has been declining in recent years. With NLNG Train 7 project on board, there will be 10,000 new jobs created. Train 7 is the crux of a growth agenda which will ensure the company's position as the fifth major supplier of global LNG is maintained, increasing value to its shareholders and other stakeholders, as well as further reducing the gas that would otherwise have been flared. Discovery of oil in Kolmani River 2 well and the reopening of OML 25 floor station after two years of inactivity as a result of issues between the host community slash Belema Oil and Shell Petroleum Development Company. Others also include signing of novation agreement with the Nigerian Ajib Oil Company NAOC to formalize the transfer of OMLS 60, 61, and 63 to the Nigerian Petroleum Development Company NPDC. The execution of a funding technical services agreement and alternative financing deal worth $3.15 billion, OML 13 and $876 million, OML 65. Signing of $2.5 billion prepayment agreement with Nigerian Liquefied Natural Gas Limited, NLNG, for upstream gas supply for trains 1 to 6. 
finalization of the 2018 audit of the NMPC Group, and improved engagement with key stakeholders, notably the National Assembly. Carrie, who disclosed this at a town hall meeting that involved the participation of the corporation's outstation members of staff, opined that the corporation has saved over $3 billion from arbitrations. He urged the corporation's workforce to redouble their efforts to ensure that the nation reaped bountifully from its vast hydrocarbon resources, which the National Oil Company had demanded to superintend. When President Mohamed Buhari appointed Malam Mele Kari in June last year as the 19th Group Managing Director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NMPC, he did not come to many Nigerians as a surprise. He's a man who, since joining the services of the Integrated Data Services Limited, IDSL, has exhibited exemplary leadership capabilities at all the places and levels he was opportune to serve. Melekari has always exhibited style and qualities that points to the fact that he was destined for the top. It was all a matter of time, they say. Fast forward to 2019, when he was announced as the new NMPC healthman, it was obvious that those special qualities exhibited throughout his 28 years of service are inherent rather than whimsical. His performance so far as the healthman at the NMPC since his appointment has further attested to the fact that Mele Kari looked every inch the right man for the prestigious NMPC job. What matters most in the story around Mele Kari's emergence is not only the experience and exposure, but the fact that at every position he held while growing through the ranks at the NMPC, the Meduguri born oil and gas executive stepped in at the right time to provide the right leadership. This is because, in the ever dynamic world of business, one of the greatest undoing could be procrastination or refusing to take the right decision when it matters. Melekari explained that for an MPC to get to the global excellence level, the corporation must be open and transparent to its numerous stakeholders. It must also be accountable to its shareholders, who are the over 180 million Nigerians. Most importantly, Kari said NMPC must exceed expectations regarding its business priorities. Its processes, he said, must be efficient, while exceptional performance shall be bountifully rewarded and recognized. Shortly after unveiling his vision, the GMD, NMPC followed up with a strong commitment to deliver by charging the chief operating officers of directorates to develop five key priorities area KPA at the ceremony to sign up on the performance bonds for the priority areas. Kerry maintained that there will be no hiding place for non-performance. For the upstream directorate, Mele Kerry is successfully championing the move to grow the nation's reserves and also increase its production. The efforts are paying off, with the nation's daily crude oil production hitting at all-time high level of 2.3 million barrels per day in April. For the Gas and Power Directorate, the NMPC under him has been expanding the nation's gas sector footprint towards stimulating industrialization. In the Redefining and Petrochemicals Directorate, Kari is pursuing a deliberate shift to get the refineries back to their nameplate capacities using the operations and maintenance O and M model, thereby enhancing local refinery capacity. A detailed program of rehabilitation for the four refineries to bring them back to minimum of 90% of installed production capacity by 2023 is being implemented in the downstream directorate. It is obvious that since Kerry came on board, NMPC has ensured efficient and seamless nationwide petroleum product supply, which is critical in guaranteeing Nigeria's energy security. That is aside ensuring that all the nation's critical oil and gas infrastructure are secured. For the Ventures Directorate, several new businesses such as the NMPC Medical Services Limited are currently being capitalized and commercialized towards enhanced profitability for the finance and accounts directorate. 
The GMD has ensured the enhancement of the corporation's revenue through optimization of costs as well as the improvement of operational efficiency. Close to that also is ensuring that NMPC's financing remains keenly focused on growth and effective liquidity management. For the Corporate Services Directorate, CARI has, since coming on board, developed the corporation's human capital towards more efficiency and excellent service delivery. It was against the backdrop of this human capital development that he recently repositioned the organizational assets of the corporation in line with global best standards. The aim, according to Mele Kari, was not just to further prepare NMPC for the changing global competitive environment, but also to ensure that, going forward, succession planning is never an impediment to business continuity and growth. As of today, several management positions have been occupied, while other competency-based rule alignments have been entrenched across all levels of the organization. NMPC, as Mele Kari always says, is not all about the NMPC itself. It is about the over 180 million Nigerians. Little wonder that, as the novel coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic continues to ravage the world and Nigeria in particular, Kari stepped up to the plate once more and for the opting time led the entire oil and gas industry from the front. This is the end of this edition of The Noble Icon. We're going to bring yet another important personality who has done something remarkable to celebrate him here. My name is Yakubu Mohammed. We're going to see you again in another edition. Thank you.